just a moment just to share the video i would greatly appreciate it i thank you guys so much for joining good morning good morning on today i want to talk to you just for a moment about looking to god who is the author and the finisher of our faith i know that sometimes in our lives that we look at things that we have gone through we look at things that that we have been through and and sometimes we allow those things to begin to be able to shape us and we and we forget about about who God has called us to be because we start looking at our hurts we start looking at our pains we start focusing on those things or the moments of shame and different things that has happened in our lives and we allow those things to be the architect of us we start allowing those things to begin to take root and we allow those things to shape us and make us until and to be being bitter people to being wounded people to being hurt and we'll be so distracted focusing on the things that has happened to us till we begin Begin to miss the things that that God has really have in place for us, or we'll begin to miss who God really calls called us to be because we're so focused on our hurts, we're so focused on our shame. I want to talk to you just for a moment that no matter what you've been through, no matter what you have gone through, that you cannot allow those things to begin to take the pen out of God's hand and start trying to write your future for for themselves or for itself. I don't care what you have gone through, so what that you didn't have a mom so what that your dad walked out so what that you lost your job so what that your spouse left you so what so what that all the things if you if you if i can just take a poll and just go down through everything that all of us have been through all of us have been through something that all of us got skeletons in our closet all of us have been hurt all of us have been wounded all of us have walked through some places in our lives that we're not so proud of but i want to tell you on today i want to prophesy to you on today that I want you to begin to let these bones begin to begin to live in you because I'm telling you right now that you don't have to die in the place that you're in that we all have suffered through some stuff we have all cried we have whether it was secretly or whether it was publicly I want you to know that all of us have been through something but you don't allow those things to begin to shape you and make you into what into and what they want you to be that I want you to understand that God is the author and the finisher of your faith that whatever God has started on the inside of you I want to tell you that God will finish it if you allow him Sometimes we look at other people and we think that other people are stopping us. We think that because this person don't have our back, it's because this person is not co-signing on what we're doing. If this person don't follow us just because this person ain't doing it, I want you to know that one monkey don't stop no show. That whatever God has spoken over your life, I'm telling you right now that you can do it, that you can be it, that you can accomplish it. I want you to go forth in it. God is the author and the finisher of your faith. I want you to understand that whatever God has spoken over your your life that it shall come to pass that sometimes it's not so much what other people say it's not so much what other people do that sometimes we stand in our own way okay that I've been through it I've been through some hurtful places I've been through some stuff that, I, that I'm not so proud of I have done some things I have said some things I have gotten in my own way but you but let me tell you something just for a moment that that once once you get over yourself because sometimes it's not what other people say and do because they have they have limit control we actually give them more control over us than what they really have once you get people out your head stop letting the chatter take place over your life because let me tell you something i don't care to the day you die people gonna always talk about you people gonna always raise up against you but you gotta remember who you are and whose you are if god spoke a word over your life i want to tell you right now that it's gonna come to pass you gotta get up every day and you got to start prophesying to yourself because if nobody else believe in you you got to start believing in yourself because if God thought enough for you that say that I am the author and the finisher of your faith that I'm going you're going to finish strong I don't care what it looked like right now you're going to finish strong you're going to finish yes gracefully that even though that right now it might not look so good right now it might not feel so good but I want to prophesy to you right now and tell you that you're right on course that you're right on track that everything that you have gone through serves purpose that you're not going to get to the place that God has called you to be without some type of struggle. You're not going to get to the place that God has predestined for you easy. You're going to
going to have to go through some stuff in order to get to the place that God has called you. So I'm telling you right now, if everything is hunky dory, if everything is peaches and cream, I, I, I want to tell you just for a moment that you might need to analyze exactly where you are. Because once you get on the path that God has called you forth to be, I'm telling you right now, stuff going to be launched at you in all directions. The enemy is coming in all directions. People that you never thought that was an enemy all of a sudden start raising up and started turning their head and all of a sudden they now up against you. People that that, that, that you thought that was for you all of a sudden going to turn against you. It seemed like your finances was all on, on course and all of a sudden some bills going to start coming out of nowhere out of left field and all of a sudden now you thought that you was that you was in a comfortable place and now all of a sudden my God now you're praying and saying God what in the world am I going to do? I want you to understand that when you own the place called purpose that you own the place called predestiny that that, uh, that you got to understand the enemy is going to fight you with everything that you everything that he has it's not going to be comfortable it's not going to be easy if you're in a comfortable place that's not the place that God has called you to be if you are in a place right now that you're questioning everything that God has spoke over your life if you're in a place right now you're doubting the very the very thing that that you know that God has spoken in your ear and told you to go forth to do if you're questioning it I'm telling you right now that's it if you have to question it right now I'm telling you right now if it's a, if it's a struggle if it's a fight if you try if you're trying to wonder oh my god how is I'm gonna be able to make it because see you got to understand that God will take you to the place that that you are no longer in control in order for God to get you to the place that he's calling you to be you can't be in control at all because if you're in control that means God is not so therefore God got to put you in a place that you got to say God I trust you because God if if this don't happen God I know that this is not able to come to pass God if I'm if I'm in a struggle right now and I got to depend solely on you if I wake up and say God I don't know how in the world that doubt a doubt is going to happen. I know that you spoke the vision. I know that you spoke the thing over my life. But God, right now, I don't have the provision to be able to make it come to pass. You got to know that is God. Because if everything is um, lined out A to B, I'm telling you right now, you got to question it whether that's really God. Because God don't ever give you an assignment that you can do solely on your own. When that's not God. God does something that, that you got to say, God, that God, I need you. And if you don't do it, God, I don't know how it's going to be done. God, right now, God, my back is up against the wall. And God, I don't know how things are going to be able to line up. And now I got to put my trust in you, God, and know that, God, if it's for me to get over this place that I'm in, surely you're going to have to be able to take me. Because, God, I'm looking to the author and the finisher of my faith. And if you spoke a thing, I know, God, that you're able to bring it to pass. Because, God, you're not a man that you shall lie, nor the son of man that you have to repent. God, whatever you spoke over my life, God, God, I know that it's already coming to pass. So, God, I'm looking to the God that is the author and the finisher of my faith. I don't know how I'm going to do it. I don't know how it's going to come to pass. God, right now, I submit my will unto your will. And so, God, I step back. I decrease in order for you to increase on the inside of me. And, God, as I know, if you in control, if you're increasing and I'm decreasing, and if my will is cut down and your will is standing up God I already know that you are already in control so I want to talk to you just for a moment this is quick word Tuesday that if you're in a place that you're doubting that you're questioning as God hand on it God how how is this going to happen how is this going to come to pass I want you to know that God is already in control God want us to relinquish our will and hold on to his and know that he is the author and the finisher of our faith. Don't worry about how you're starting now. Don't even worry about the middle because I'm prophesying to you through the word of God that it shall come to pass. That God never speaks about our beginning. He never talks to us about our middle. But he reassures us about our end and he lets us know that I'm the author and I'm the finisher of your faith. So, so therefore, he, he's not concerned about the bumps in the road in the beginning. He's not dismayed or 
um, steps off of his throne about the middle because he already know that your end is going to finish strong. So I pray that this word has been a blessing to you. Share this word with somebody. Tag somebody in it and let them know that you will finish strong. It's not over until God said it's over. I don't care. I don't care who raised up against you. I don't care who doubts you. I don't care who scandalized your name. I don't care what kind of plot they come up with. I don't care. I don't care at all. What I do know is that God is the author. He is the finisher. He is the author. He is the finisher of our faith. And we will finish strong. Thank you. God bless you. And may, may heaven smile upon you. Have an awesome and wonderful day.